Hi everyone, Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate it and just a happy uh, Christmas break for everyone. I know this time off school is really good. Um, so the, I'm Maddie and this is just a little festive video to chat about some Christmassy things and also to think about how you can use the Christmas period to really help you to make sure you take the break that you need but also how you can use it for a little bit of study just to make sure you go into the new year um, with a fresh mindset where you know you feel confident with the things you're studying. Um, so to start with, I'm just going to talk about a few things that I really like about Christmas. Um, so I don't live with my parents anymore, so I love to come home. For, I love coming home for Christmas and having all those home comforts. And I think the best home comforts around Christmas time are the food. Um, so I think Christmas dinner is obviously one of the highlights of the day. Um, I don't eat meat, but I still like mm, basically everything about Christmas dinner. So I always have uh, like stuffing and gravy and cranberry sauce. And I love all those trimmings. I think they're the best part. And I think the best thing is that you can have the leftovers for the days after. I think that's so nice. Um, but mostly I just like spending time with my family because as I say, I don't live with them anymore and I live quite far away. So I don't see them very often. Um, so I think it's great and um, so we can watch films together and play games and things like that and um, I really like um, watching the Polar Express I watch that with my brother and sister on Christmas Eve um, and we always play like card games and Scrabble and things like that so I think that's really nice Um, I think a good recommendation around Christmas time especially if you're wanting to do a bit of reading and things like that is maybe just have a listen to or read the Twas the Night Before Christmas and um, that poem or short story and um, I think it's really lovely and it can help you feel really Christmassy and it's quite relaxing I think if you read it before you go to bed that might be quite nice and um, especially actually on Christmas Eve because that's when you meant to read that because it's all about uh, Christmas Eve so I think that's really lovely um, and yeah so coming on to thinking a little bit more about how you can study over Christmas I think the most important thing is that you recommend that the holidays are there for you to have a break that's why they're put in and that's why they're put in at the times that they're put in for because they're important because it's very important that after you've studied for 12 weeks or um however long terms are but around 12 weeks when you need um you really need these weeks off to make sure you can rest and relax and stop you stop trying to be so st stop being so stressed and thinking about work all the time it's so important to relax because actually relaxing and taking that break will make you more productive because it will make you more ready to go back to school when you go back in January um so I think the most important thing is that you relax over the Christmas holidays and um, I know that sometimes it's hard to relax when you feel like you have lots to do so a, a good tip that I have used and I think is useful is at the start of your break after you've taken a couple of days just to do nothing especially if you're really tired just write down a few things that you'd like to go over during the holidays whether it be um, revise a certain topic reread a book go over this just write maybe one thing for each subject if you feel that like you have to do that and just a couple of things and have it on a little list on in your notebook or online or anything and just as you go through the holidays and do them when you have a bit of downtime just take them off okay so then when you look back you know that you've done some stuff and you go into the new year feeling prepared to go back into school but you haven't got that feeling of oh no I haven't done anything because you've done everything that you set out to do so I think just write yourself a little list with things that maybe you'd like to go over but again no pressure on yourself don't feel as though you have to do it all but I think as long as you can show yourself that you actually have done it by having it in front of you and ticking it off that that can make people feel a lot calmer about it especially about going back into the new year at school um but yeah mostly just please rest and take this time off for yourselves because that's the most important thing to be happy and healthy um so yeah merry christmas everyone i hope you guys have a lovely um time off of school and for those of you i teach i'll see you in my lessons thanks guys bye